The concept of a brownfield SAP S4 HANA migration doesn't necessarily mean the dried up patch of earth you might see in your backyard in the summer. Rather, a brownfield migration is the core renovation of an existing building, the expansion in an existing building, or a new building in an already developed industrial area with existing buildings. In contrast to the greenfield approach, the restrictions governing a brownfield migration are higher. In terms of sustainability, however, a brownfield migration should not be underestimated either because your data remains in the system, and you'll worry less about data migration. However, this approach also means that you must continue to include the old data burden in your considerations. This data burden often contains, for example, incorrect master data like duplicates or incorrect addresses and should be cleaned up in any case through archiving, data cleansing, etc. The typical SAP data migration scenario of the brownfield approach is a system conversion, that is, the conversion of an existing SAP ERP system to a new SAP S4 HANA system while retaining the existing configuration and all the data. In this diagram, notice how a system conversion is only possible to products based on SAP S4 HANA, specifically the on-premise version. A system conversion to the SAP S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition is technically impossible. One advantage of a system conversion is that the conversion is performed within the same system. For instance, an SAP Business Suite system can be converted into an SAP S4 HANA system in multiple steps, which is not a normal upgrade, because the system is completely transformed. To keep up on all things SAP, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on a new video.